Today's secret is about how to exchange the membranes on the V300 or V600. In order to be able to replace the membranes, we need new membranes. We need the wear part kit. The first kit consists of the two membranes plus the membrane replacement tool. And the second kit consists of the membranes and some additional things such as O-rings and jack walls, etc. The last thing we need is the tool itself. The tool consists as well of the two Torx keys which we need to open the pump up. Now let me show you in detail how we disassemble the pump and how we replace the membranes. First of all we have to open up the front part of the pump. For that we use this bigger Torx. We just open these screws. One. One on the other side. And now it's very important to just first lift this off like this and th only then push it up like this. Because we have some hooks over here which will fit in that. Now we first remove the tubes. We just open this a little, open that a little. We take this one out and you just take it out like this. And now we use the same Torx 25 and we open all the four screws, just like this. So that's how simple it is. And now we use this tool and we release it to one direction. It actually has some very nice marks here to open and to close and then we can use our fingers to take the complete membrane out. Once we have this out, we simply take the new one, we put it in, we make sure that the ring is in the right position. Just like this. And then we use the same tool but into the direction close. Like that. In order to replace the jack walls inside the connecting piece, we simply use the Torx key, the membrane uh, replacement tool. We take these screws out, these two screws. We can then see the membrane and the o-ring inside here. We can try to remove it or we can use this tool, this piece here, where we slide it in like this and then we can simply take it out. We have the o-ring and the jack wolf. Now for convenience reasons we replace everything which means this whole kit we just replace by a completely new one. We insert the o-ring in here and now the most important thing is to make sure that this side here faces up. So you can see we have one icon here, one icon here and this is how it faces up. That means it goes like this into this one, like that and then it's fixed back onto here. Same with the FEP ceilings. We just push them in like that, gently, and we screw them back on. That's how easy it is to replace. Last but not least, we have to reassemble these tubings. Actually, it's very simple. You can find a small white dot on the back. That means the tubing will go in like this. So first we loosen these, so it's a little loose here. We push it in. Same applies here. We push it in and then we tighten. Same applies here, open it up a little, go in like that and then tighten it. Last but not least, we use the cover. We slide it in from the top like this, we close it and then we put the screws on both sides.